Hey everyone, it is 12.24, so it's a Monday morning technically, and uh, I've got all my bits back. Now, <coughs> oh, pardon me, these, I forgot when I painted these that I needed bare metal to make contact for the earth. Whoops. Anyway. So I've had to scrape some paint off. The paint on these aren't perfect, but I wanted a bit of a rustic look anyway, so I wasn't aiming for perfection. So I need to get these positioned. This is actually a wider board as well. You can see I painted it silver. I'm going to reuse the old or the original connector block. I've got some wire there. I've got the light fittings. I found out what you got to do is pop the um, caps at the end there. There's some of these rubbery cap things, and uh, undo that screw. You just wrap the wire around. So I've got some new wire there. I've got some new wire. I've got a bit of three core somewhere. Oh, I was over here beside me. I've got fly lead for the earth. I'm gonna have to go and find another piece because I need this to go between um, and actually if I scratch a little bit more paint off if I actually thought this when I was painting it I wouldn't be doing this <laughs> well, I didn't think of this so I'm going to take that paint off hopefully should, I'm hoping, give me an earth connection right there. I mean, if I need to, I can connect the earth to the bottom here. That's one option. But I'm actually hoping that I can connect the earth there. I might actually find something else to do these crimps with. That's quite loose. I hope I can just put the self tap and screw through this crimp, crimp it to that. And when this goes in, so that will scrape the paint away, so that will make earth contact. That's the idea. Um, like I said, I'm going to need to get a, a different one. I've got is wire cutters and they're not suitable crimping tools. For that reason. You see, I just cut straight through it. Um, again. <laughs> That's what happened to the last one. I've actually never broken two doing that. Um, Bear with me one second. I'm back. Right, all I've got here are some wire strippers, so I don't know how well they're going to work. Um, for their non intended purpose. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice that. I'm going to sacrifice another one. Sacrifice one that I don't use often. Small hole in it. I didn't realize that. Where am I? Oh, there. So, is this going to work or is that going to. Oh. No, it's a short answer. There's not enough leverage. I don't have another. I'll use these yellow ones, if I can use these yellow ones, that is. I might get away with the... Uh, um, you're in the way, I need to get to the cupboard. <laughs> Forgot to get the pot of screws out. We need screws, that will help. self-tapping screw. Ah, oh, I think I've got one just perfect there. Will that go through there? It will indeed. That's all I need. I'll find another three of those. 
these will eventually be screwed on as well. Um, but I think I'm going to need my drill for that. To lay these in there, drill a pilot hole through these screw holes and while it's in there and then um, put a self tap through. But uh, my cordless drill is at Mum's. And at the moment, well, even if I had the cordless drill here, it's too late at night for me to do any drilling, so. But I can use hand tools and manually put the screws in. It's only a bit of plywood, so it's not going to cause a lot of noise. It'd be quite easy to, you know. Stick salt tapper in. I think that's got it. It's not the prettiest crimp on the planet, but it's got it right. So that in there. I'm running at border speed. So I get these sort of looking somewhat even. As I said, I'm not looking for perfection, so... Right, one screw in, so... Another three of those to go. I need another fly lead or another lead to come off and go into that. Actually, I'm going to need another three, four, five of those screws if I can find them. Ah, I didn't bring my meter, did I? Oopsie daisy. Well, I'll get these screwed down and then I'll go and get the meter. Because I just wanted to bear the end of this and just make sure I have got, you know, a continuity of a... Here's another one. So, I'm going to turn this this way. And just make sure that is straight at least. Like so. And put the other screw back in here. Like so. Be a lot quicker if I had my cordless drill. <laughs> but I don't got it. Right, so what's that one on? So we'll get these all screwed on, then I'll we'll do the wiring on the other lights. And that's still twisted that way. Bitch. I need the other um, earth cable as well. Could do this end though. Close enough, I'm not going for perfection am I? So I'm going to have to go find another little bit of earth wire. And I need to create some bare metal. Proving a bit difficult on this one for some reason. Don't matter too much about this bottom bit because it's going to be covered by the light fitting anyway. Right, so I'm going to want a nice tidy piece of wire in there, and I can't bend that. So I want it roughly that long, but that's not going to be long enough to go between there. Right, I need my meter, so I'm just going to pause again while I go and get a longer piece of this and my meter. Back. I think that one's long enough. <laughs> right, so let's get this sorted. I need another one of those yellow crimps, don't I? I need to strip that end back. So, get out of there. 
See if I can squeeze this one together without cutting through it. The answer to that is no. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I didn't trim too much through. Let's try that again. get one that's got to be awkward okay. try that again right. it'd be a lot easier if I had the correct tool I'm gonna have to get another crimping tool I think so I have to keep one down at mum's and tuddle one up here do that either. Oh, that one didn't grip it either because I didn't do that right anyway. Another stubby little screw. Plenty in here that just a pain in the ass to get hold of. No, nope, that one's got too much of a smaller head. There we go, that's the squirrel one. Try and get this one on a bit straighter, shall we? And not noticeably on the piss like the other one is. make sure that these points are actually uh, contacting with the trays so I need to strip a bit of this off continuity on my little dial. Uh, that one. Yep. It's a very scratchy beat, but it's a beat. Yep. Good. That's all I needed to know. So this is going to be our next job. We need to uh, rewire these. Right. Uh, I think I'm offshore, aren't I? A little bit. So, I've got to undo this end piece. Now. washes there, that's sandwiched between that. So what I need is a piece of cable like this. Um, I need that. Because I can't measure. Better to have 
too much than not enough. So I now need to strip these two wires back. Like so. Like that. You'll see why I've made the live wire that long in a minute. Trim this one off. Blue one does need trimming off, but I'm not going to do that yet. Now what I want to do is get my live wire. That should be just about perfect for what I want. I'm going to strip the end. Like so, hopefully I've got enough of it. And I'm going to get the screw. And hopefully, if I just peel one washer off for now, I'm going to get this wire. Actually, oh, he's a bit dumb because I haven't put this in at the bloody lamp holder yet, have I? It's just fallen out. Oh, the contact has actually just fallen out of the end of this. There it is. back in in a minute. I'm going to strip a little a bit more. So yeah, don't forget to put the wire through the lamp holder first. Twist these wires up. Right, I want to get that twist that up like that. Washer will go there. So the contact is now squished in the middle. This bit's got to go back into the lamp holder. And then this has got to feed back through, it says. And then screw back into there, he says. God, I'm a butter fingers tonight. There we go. That's one wire on. That will then run down the inside of that. And I can attach the blue wire in there. See what I'm doing? I'm gonna take off that, which has got two washes. And you literally just sandwich your wire between the two washers. So I'm going to take this off, like so. No, drop that washer out. Lay that there for a moment for a couple of reasons. One, see that's all I've done, look. It just twists. That can go in there. Let's get blue wire fed into where it's meant to be, like so. Uh, got some sort of bug running around on my wood top now. This is going to be a bit awkward, this one. So I need to snip that there. Put that down there out of the way for the moment. Bloody pin has just full fill out this one as well. Strip the bare wire back. See what if you wonder how you get the bulbs in, one end is a uh, springy. But there's only one end, so you got to which is actually thinner than the end that's not springy. So it's quite easy to see which end is which. Ooh, sugar. Yeah, thought so. Let's just drop that pin out. Go 
going to need a little bit more taken off. Ow. Uh. Just think guys, we've got another one of these. I might turn the camera off while I do the other one. Otherwise I can see uh, I can see y'all getting bored. Right. So that's wrapped around there. We've got the second washer over that to make a sandwich. And put our doodad in there and hopefully screw all lined up and the washer's clamped down. If I can get the screw on the bloody or the screwdriver on the screw. This one done. I've got to put these caps back in the end here. Just little rubbery bungs, that's all they are. One back in the other end. And then one of these will just temporarily just push into here like that until I get the screws in. So, I just want to make sure that I've now got earth continuity from this to this. Oh, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Do what? If it is, it's not very good. So that's something I'll have to sort out then. Might need a bit more uh, paint cleaned off. So I'm going to shut you off while I get the other one sorted. And uh, then we can make the final connections. Oh, I didn't screw that down, did I? Right, I will be back. We're good. Just got this last bit to do. And just to prove that everything is now earthed, apart from that one that's moved, I did get a good beat from both of them a minute ago. There we go. I'll be alright once I've got the screws in there, that'll be alright because that'll hold everything down as it should. the worktop for some reason. It felt like um, a screw had gone all the way through but it hadn't right so I need to part those. I need to open this. We're nearly there. I've just got to put the lead on, a plug on, the bulbs in and we can fire it up. Right so I want that that way I think. This is where I shattered the whole thing and I'll have to postpone. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just going to cut that one a little bit deeper because I've got two cables to go in. Like that. Right, good. So that's going to go there. So I need another two diddly little self tapping screws. So So glad the screwdriver is uh, magnetic. That's what I was going to say till the screw decided to fall off the screwdriver. It's what I like about plywood. 
it is actually relatively easy to screw into one more of those or something similar, it doesn't have to be exact match as this is going to be covered ow asshole let's try that again ow fudge you as well then I just love it when you see the screw that you want, but you can't get hold of it because it's so small. Right. That's that job. So, I only need three of these terminals, don't I? One for live, one for neutral, one for the earth. I'm putting the earth in that one, I think. So, I'm going to snip that there and I'm going to get this stripped back a little bit. I will say that for this flex, it is uh, quite easy to work with. I don't want to go too far back though. Because I don't want the blue and the brown poking out the end of the connection box. This is going to look completely scruffy, but I'm not doing it to look pretty. So, I think if I actually do that. And get this one ready to go through. Then, in theory, I can twist the two ends of the brown wires together and get them put in at the same time. Cool. That insulation's a little bit tougher. Somewhere there will do. Right. Um. All right then. Slight change of plan. I'm going to use the like a bit more, a little bit more. I could. easier to use, that's all. Right. So I need a bit of wire bed off of this. I think that yeah, was a little lot too much. <laughs> Preferably don't want it poking too far out of the other side. Didn't undo the screw on this one either, did I? Because I didn't plan on using this one. I'm going to put the screw back down on that one. Right, so. There'd be one live wire in place. Second one. Oh, I forgot. I've got a third one to go in there, haven't I? Dipstick. So, I think for these two at least, I'll twist them together. And I'll get my power cable and I'll get that all ready as well. Because that's going to have to go in the other side. So, I'm just using a bit of a flex here. Leftover flex for from something I did at Mum's. What was I doing? Floodlights, that was it. I was installing new floodlights outside my shed and my brother's caravan. Right. Ooh, sounds like some boy races are out on the car park. Oh, 
possibly. The cars sound a bit meaty anyway. Don't know if you can hear that in the background, but it sounds like a dump valve to me. Alright. So that's got the shortest distance to go. So whoop. No. <laughs> I think I cut that a little bit too short, but never mind. That'll do the job. There we go. So. I push it in a bit further, I hope. One done, one connection done. At least with this earth, which I can snake in there, thankfully. I've only got two wires to go to that. Uh, oh, a bit more can come off of that. Yeah, something like that. Pulled the end of that out of the crimp. <sighs> well, what I'll do, I'll sort that out when I'm done. I'll just make a new crimp. That's all. I'll get it connected into the junction box first. Is this one being a pain? I wonder if I should put that one in first as that's got to go down a bit lower. Put this bit on top. Turn it on in this video. I do have a plentiful stock of these <laughs> for now. that wire over there. Take that out. Do away with that. Do that. having some issues finding the hole. Alright, so that 
that in. That's now in. So it's just the three neutrals, a plug, and we're done. All right, so I'm going to tuck that one down there. Bring it around. This one trimmed up. Get out of the way. Like so. Shoveth. Through the terminal, liketh so. I've just got this one to do. We're nearly there. Eh. Problem with working with stranded wire is you've got to put up that extra time in um, twisting them like that. screwed on now. All our connections are made in there. So it's just a case of putting this on this. But I think just before I do that get a couple of these installed shall we? That's springy end. to go in. Oh, I did put the spring end at both ends. I did that without even trying. There we go. So, that's those connected. I don't even know what these look like, these LED strip lights. Because, uh, well, I've not used them, have I? Because, uh, I took the light fitting apart before I could test them out and see what they looked like. And yes, I did think afterwards that perhaps I should have tried the bulbs first. But never mind. I've actually noticed that there's a lot of LED bulbs now designed to replace, well, like, you know, the not so common lamps like this one. You know, I've even seen LED bulbs designed to replace uh, streetlight bulbs, the Sox bulbs, and the Song, like in the floodlight video I did. You know, I've seen LED bulbs to replace those. So at least older fittings can keep going, just with LED bulbs, I suppose. I don't think there's any harm in that, to be honest. Well, I'd prefer, personally, original light bulbs if I can find them, but... Don't want to do that. I've got a spare pair of pliers over here. Or did I move them? No, like an idiot, I've moved them. I have to try it with these. No, 
right. That's what I usually do. You just strip some wire back and I put the cord grip on. Like that. Making sure it's going over the outer insulation. And put the screw in, hopefully. In fact, I'll get the screw started. And just make sure that's in place. Push that down. Do both the cord grip screws up. That's that job out of the way. Then I've just got three wires to play with. Right. And I don't know why, when I'm doing a plug like this, I always start with the earth. For some reason, I've noticed when I'm doing a lot of wiring, even when I did the wiring in the shed, I always start with the earth in the fuse box. I don't know why. It just seems to be the wire I go to first, for some reason. There's no real reason to it. I don't think it matters which wire you do first, especially if the uh, the system is dead. I just do the earth first. If I can get the wire in. Hopefully I didn't cut that too short. That doesn't matter because if I did I could have nudged the wire or the yeah I could have just nudged that in a little bit more. But it's good. Enough length there. Yeah. Make sure I've done the screw up nice and tight. And we go to blue. This is my order of doing the wires in a plug. The earth, the neutral, and the live. For some reason I do the same when I'm doing consumer units as well. <laughs> yeah, it's something I've always done. Maybe I do it in consumer units because I do it with plugs as well. Why in shot? Just. <laughs> You'll have to shout at me if I keep going out short. Right. Last wire. I always find it easier to take that part of the fuse carrier out. Put my wire in. Screw it down as tight as I can in my fingers. Put the wire and thing back in, put the fuse in. Then I can make sure the wire or the terminal is cranked down. Right. The sticker on the plug lies, it says fitted with a 5 amp fuse, it's not fitted with a 3. But I probably put that in there. Right. Are we ready? Ooh. That made a bit of a click when I did that. That's actually quite bright. Yeah, I like that. No idea where I'm going to put it, but it works. One thing I am going to check is that I've got earth going to the earth pin as well. And if you wonder why I'm getting so antsy about the earth, it's because there's a lot of bare metal on show here. You know, the actual fittings are metal. We don't seem to have a very good earth anyway, to be honest. Might have to... Um, Wire come off. That 
please. I've lost my beep. Why have I lost my beep? That's where it should be. Oh, there we go. I've got earth there. Got an earth there. Got an earth there. Right, we have got continu continuity. That's good. So, that completes the video. No, it doesn't look pretty. Yes, it is safe to use. No, it wasn't meant to look pretty in the first place. It's just meant to be a random... Well, I think the only thing I've reused is the light fit and these shade things and that. But I will be taking these bulbs out and, like I said, putting the screws through. If anything, it'll make sure that these light fittings themselves, because they're only pressed in there, so that might be why the uh, earth between the light fitting and here is a bit intermittent. But, uh, yeah, we're there. We're all done. It's a pity I couldn't tidy up this green wire, really, but... Never mind, if I wanted a, a light above a bench or something. Actually, what I was going to do... And I can't decide what light fittings to use. I was either going to put this, one that I've just built, underneath this shelf. Or I was going to get the um, a couple of the uh, fluorescent lights from the caravan, the 12 volt ones, and put those up there. Um, I mean, this would be actually quite easy, because I can just use some self-tappers and screw that straight to the shelf. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Uh, I wouldn't mind using the fluorescence under that shelf, to be honest. Just for a bit of extra light under there, now that it's blocking off my spotlights. Did not think that one through when I put that shelf up there. But I, didn't, I really didn't have a lot of choice but to put the shelf up because I was running out of space. I never ever... Just digressing from the subject of the video here, but I never thought that I would actually get so much Lego and Lego sets on display that I would actually run out of shelf space. <laughs> but I have. Yeah. Honestly, I never thought I would. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here, so I hope you liked it and... Uh, found it interesting. I wouldn't recommend doing anything like this. Well, like I said, it's earthed, it's safe to use, it just looks ugly. But uh, that's basically what I wanted for some reason. I don't know why, I just wanted a, a rough looking ish safe lamp. <laughs> I just added a little bit of paint um, but a lot of the crap has come through, even though I used rough steel wool to clean up those shades. Um, I've actually marked the paint in a few places as well. Oh well, it just adds to the patina. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I will uh, talk to you in the next video. Bye.